This video briefly presents the main new features in MGSoft NetConf Browser 2022 and 23 releases. Many of the new functionalities focus on NetConf and RESTConf notifications, enabling complete notification subscription management, as well as receiving of event streams and telemetry streams pushed by network devices. Anyone involved in testing or monitoring of notifications will appreciate this simple yet handy new option that can boost one's productivity significantly. The software now lets you undock the notifications panel from the main window and display it in a separate window that can be resized and positioned next to the main window or moved to another monitor, for example, so you can keep an eye on the incoming notifications at all times, even while using other parts of Netcom browser, like shown in this example. All in all, this neat feature enables a better overview and easier manipulation of received notifications. Another new feature we are sure that many users will find really useful is notification filtering. You know, the number of notifications received from network devices can be quite high over time, uh, which makes uh, finding the notifications of interest uh, increasingly difficult. To address this problem, Netcom Browser now incorporates an effective and easy-to-use notification filtering functionality. There are two filtering modes in the notifications window, uh, the simple uh, text-based uh, filtering and the advanced expat-based filtering. In the simple mode, one can filter notifications by virtually any sequence of characters included in the notification message, uh, or by the name value pairs as described in the user manual. For example, if I was to find all config change notifications, um, I can use a regular uh, text-based search and put in the config change string and I can see 11 matches. Now, if I would like to go a bit further uh, and find all configuration changes reported on uh, in network interface ETH3, uh, I would put in an additional ETH3 string and enable the all words must match option to find the matching notification. In any case, notification filtering is essential to effective configuration management. But what's fascinating is how simple it is to take advantage of this capability in Netcom Browser. In addition to the legacy Netconf notification subscription mechanism defined in RFC 5277, Netconf Browser now supports also a modern alternative to it uh, defined in RFC 8639 to 8641 and collectively referred to as Young Push. This includes support for the new established subscription operation uh, that replaces the original create subscription operation and allows for subscribing to event streams uh, or Yang data store updates uh, from a server. Uh, the data store updates can be either periodic uh, or on change, uh, meaning whenever a modification in the subscribed content in the data store occurs. Uh, this is so-called Yang push mechanism that enables streaming of configuration and state data um, by means of push change update and push update notifications, as shown here. And this mechanism actually eliminates the need for periodic polling of Yang da data stores by a client. Besides, the dynamic subscription model allows for establishing multiple concurrent subscriptions on a single transport session uh, and caters for negotiation and modification of subscription parameters as well as the termination of subscriptions uh, via dedicated RPC operations like modify subscription, uh, delete and kill subscription operations uh, shown in the diagram above. 
Netcom browser supports the advanced technology of network telemetry streaming, uh, meaning uh, receiving of data pushed by managed devices to it via uh, notifications. Uh, and the push method has some important advantages, like the ability to obtain real-time information about devices' health and configuration and causing less network traffic overhead, uh, because there is no polling involved. The built-in content editor has been extended with dedicated targets for composing and executing the established subscription and modify subscription RPC requests in netconf and restconf mode. As you can see, this window provides special GUI controls for composing the established subscription uh, RPC content. And this window also offers a, a validation of the requests for managing dynamic notification subscriptions, creation, modification and deletion. The notifications window has been enhanced to provide a clear overview of all notification subscriptions in all notification sessions since the program start. The software displays the type uh, as well as the state uh, of every subscription, as well as the ID and all other details of a subscription. For example, uh, we can view the subscription details in a dedicated window, uh, as well as uh, modify or end a subscription from the context menu. Netcom Browser supports establishing dynamic subscriptions and receiving of notifications via both Netconf and RESTConf protocol. All in all, the new functionalities enable complete notification monitoring, filtering and managing of subscriptions in one place, the, the extremely versatile and feature-rich notifications window. Besides, many smaller enhancements and optimizations have been implemented in the application and all known issues have been rectified. I hope that these exciting new features will encourage you uh, to use the latest version of Netconf Browser yourself. Thank you for your attention.